Hello everybody, in today's tutorial we are going to be doing the spider stitch. Now this stitch is really really good if you're brand new to crochet. It only involves one sort of basic stitch which is a double crochet or a single crochet if you are in the US. It has a lovely textured appearance and the good thing about this stitch is that it is the same on the back as it is on the front. So if you want to learn how to do the spider stitch, then keep watching. For your tutorial you are going to need your yarn and the corresponding crochet hook so this is a four millimeter you want to start off with a slip knot if you don't know how to do a slip knot I do have a tutorial I will link it in the card section above so now you want to do your chain in multiples of two. So just make it your chain to as long as you want your piece of work. So let's start chaining. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to do mine up to 20. So what you want to do, oh a good tip as well, if you find your tension is a bit tight for your chain, what I would do is go up a hook size, so this is a four, so if I had really tight tension, I would go up to a five, just to do my chain, and then to do the rest of your project, just use the corresponding, the right size um, hook for your yarn. Top tip. So what you want to do now is from the second chain from the hook, we're just gonna double crochet. So that's a single crochet if you're in the US. We're going to chain one and then we're going to double crochet back into that same stitch. Then we're going to skip a chain and we're going to do the same again. So a double crochet or single if you're in the US. Chain one and another double crochet. Then we're going to skip one and just repeat that again. So a double crochet, chain one and another double. So you want to continue doing that combination all the way until you get to the very end of your work. So we're going to skip one here, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in, all into the same stitch, skip one and then repeat that double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that stitch and miss one all the way until you get to the end. So if you want to pause the video now, I shall meet you back when we get to the end of this row. So I have just got to my last chain space. So I'm just gonna double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we can chain one 
and then turn our work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. So now what we're gonna do is into that chain one space, which is here, we're gonna repeat exactly the same as we did on the round before. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet again. Then we're going to do the same into the next chain one space. Sometimes you do have to pull your stitches apart. So insert your hook. Chain one and double crochet. Then we're going to go into the next chain space. So it's not here, this is where we've skipped our stitch. So we're going into the middle here. So insert your hook. Chain one and pop your hook back in and then we're going to do all the same along so into your chain one space we're just going to double crochet or single if you're in the US chain one double crochet all the way along and I shall meet you when we get back to the end here so I'm just getting to my last stitch of the round Then I'm going to chain one. Remember, this doesn't count as a stitch. And then I'm going to continue doing exactly what we did for round two, all the way across and back. And I'm going to keep working that stitch. So that double crochet, chain one, double crochet, until I get to the length of my work. That I need. So this would make a really good stitch for a scarf, um, a shawl, because it, although it is quite simple and it is suitable for beginners, it does look really effective once it's all worked up. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I post a new stitch on a Sunday. So take care and happy crocheting.